How y'all doing out there? How y'all doing? This is me. It's Rhonda. Hey y'all. Today we're gonna be making uh, potato salad and um, pane meat. So y'all, I start my potato salad off with russet potatoes. It's just the ones I like. Um, I cut them up into bite size. They've already been cooked. So, I'm gonna be making potato salad, pane meat, corn, and probably just a salad, or regular Gordon salad to go with dinner today. So you see all this is russet potatoes, they boiled. Uh, I figured I was, Earlier, I started it, and I was on my regular page, and I was like, you know what? I need to get off of that and get on my cooking page. I don't need this on my personal page. So, we making potato salad, like I said, y'all, pane meat, corn, and a garden salad. So, I already got the potatoes boiled. <clears throat> it's russet potatoes that I use. Y'all welcome to use whatever you like in your potato salad, but this is what I make them on. Already got, as y'all can see, celery and uh, onions in there. Okay, y'all. I like mine bite size. I'm gonna take my eggs. And I'll drop the yellow in a bowl. Cause I make a, uh, kind of like a little mix. Oh yeah, my pan's about hot. <clears throat> my little sidekick. I need one of my grandkids over. Helping Mama with this, but they all ought to be starting school. Well, my little ones here in Mississippi already started school. Max and Atticus, they're in school. Okay, y'all. So that part is that. Okay, this here, I just chopped. I'm not uniform with nothing, okay, y'all? I just chop and I add it in. Ain't no fancy, no nothing. Y'all know me. If you know me, you know I'm not out to impress Doral. I do love cooking. Uh, so. This would be better if I let me grab my uh while I'm doing that, let me grab some of the meat where I can start dropping it. See that way when I'm done, y'all? I'll have both dishes done. So here's the container of the pane meat. See that, y'all? This is London Brawl. Uh, I think about, I don't know, maybe a pound or two. I actually took this London Brawl and I'm making two suppers out of it. I'm gonna make the pane meat and then I'm gonna make uh, also fajitas. I love, I love Mexican food. Okay, y'all, so to start off with this, look, breadcrumbs, okay? Italian breadcrumbs. Take that meat that you've been mar I marinate mine overnight. You don't have to. My egg wash is nothing but milk and um, 
eggs, and then I add all kind of seasoning to it. I just constantly, I'll just add till I got enough to fry. So how everybody made it with this crazy uh, hurricane that didn't hit us. I mean, I live here on the coast here in Waveland and we didn't get anything. We had the newsmen out here. <laughs> From New Orleans, y'all. Yeah. Woo. And uh, they got to record how beautiful the beach looked yesterday. We didn't. We had a, a beautiful sunshine day, y'all. No bad weather. Okay, y'all. See that? That's ready. So we're gonna drop that baby as my little stepson, which to me is my my child. I love him no less than the ones I gave birth to. Um, as a little young boy, he would always say, "Can we have some birth chicken?" He didn't know what it was called. Um, my stepchildren are all like my husband. There. Um, little hillbillies, they from North Carolina, y'all. Now I have two of my little grandchildren are in South Carolina. Uh, Juliet and Sawyer, I call them Soda and Wink. Uh, who wants to call their grandkids by that name? No, no, not this mama. This mama gives them all nicknames. That's just how it goes down here, y'all. So you see, um, we got this baby here going. So let's hope nobody calls today and interrupts my video. I mean, they might. They probably will, because they always do. But hopefully today will be a day without it. So y'all, I got this on a medium-high heat that this is cooking on. And they, they're cut about a quarter of an inch. Uh, everything I cook, I try to cook in a bite size. You could actually do them thicker or longer. I just, this is how I cut mine. Uh, let me wash my hands. Okay, the rest of mine. So while I got that cooking, let me move this. I'll go ahead and chop some more egg white. That's, this is all, I already got, um, all right y'all, right now I'm working on the, uh, on the um, potato salad. Hey Raymond. So, the potato salad, y'all, I got russet potatoes. I have celery, onions, all of that goes into my potato salad. I got the pineated meat already in the egg wash. The pineated meat, y'all, that I'm pineating, I always use lemon broil. I cut it up in strips and then cut the strips in half, about a quarter of an inch thick. And um, I marinate it in an egg wash, always with seasoning. My seasonings are cayenne, salt, white pepper. I use white pepper, y'all. I use uh, all kinds. I mean, I'll post a picture of my spice cabinet. Uh, what can I say? Life without spice is kind of like life without Jesus. This girl here can't do without either one. That's what I live for. 
spreading the word of Jesus. So if y'all don't know uh, that I'm definitely uh, walking in the spirit, God bless y'all. Y'all need to know. So my hope for today is that each one of y'all pick up the Bible, read a passage, and go out and be a light into the world. Because that's our job as Christians. And vote Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump. You cannot be a Christian and believe in abortion and murder and all this, this craziness that's going on in the world. So, if I lose people on my page, hey, that's fine and dandy. I, uh, I'm going to speak my piece. I'm going to speak with what I feel. And what I'm saying is, don't tell me you're a Christian if you believe in abortion, if you believe in all of this democratic bull going on, because that ain't what, what uh, founded our nation. So, don't let them try to take the Second Amendment away. I'm a Bible toting, gun toting Christian. No other way. Okay, y'all. So that's that's starting to go there. Like I said, the the yolk of the egg I take out. I put in another bowl because I'm gonna make a mayonnaise mustard mix that I add into my potato salad. In my potato salad, I already have onions and celery in it. I'm chopping up. The egg whites put in there because I put egg. I mean, we all do different, right? I put egg whites in my uh, potato salad. And I must be doing something right, y'all, because uh, I ain't exactly tiny. <laughs> no, no, no. My baby likes to come home and eat. Okay, y'all. So you see, some of this is already done. Like I said, I um okay y'all. Hold on. Let me show y'all. I cook it a golden, like you know, nice brown. This is London broil that has been marinated in an egg wash. I marinate it overnight. Uh, see, I put about a half an inch of oil in my pan. So see all this back, and it cooks really, really quick. So I'm all about fast cooking. Taste is a must. Got to taste good. If it don't taste good, don't even try to bring it to the table. So, that batch right there is not all the way done yet, right there. But what I do is, I always try to stay ahead. This is Italian breadcrumbs, y'all. Add extra seasoning to your breadcrumbs. Garlic, cayenne, white pepper, salt. I add all that into my, um, all right, into my breadcrumbs. So y'all, here's my, uh, oh, I don't know if y'all can see this, hold on. I'm working on getting me a camera set up, y'all. God willing, and the creek don't rise. Okay, see? It's my potatoes. I like them bite size. I mean, for y'all that don't know, I am 60 years old and get braces at the age of 59. Uh, it's hard enough to talk with them on, much less eat with them on. <laughs> Do I recommend it? No. Uh, 
the Invisaligns is probably how I should have went, but he did with two thousand dollars more, y'all. That's a lot of money. Okay, y'all. So you see how this is looking? I'll go through it, make sure that I have some more that's not too big. Okay, y'all. This right here. That off. This is my egg yolk that's boiled. I crumble them up. Like I said, we all cook different, y'all. This, this is how I do mine, okay? Ooh, yeah. Put that in there. A little salt. While you add it, salt that up. I use blue plate. I was born in New Orleans, raised in New Orleans. We use blue plate. That's the household I was born into. That's all we ever use. Not Hellman's, not Duke's, not no generic blue plate. Mustard, I don't care what you use. Sorry y'all, I'm open on the camera. See this? Now I mix this together. See how it's coming together? Okay. Put them through there because I'll need them again. Well, actually, I need this one right now. Let me get some of this meat out. Time to flip some. Nothing like multitasking, y'all. See, that one I left in a little bit too long, but it'll get eaten. Okay, y'all. Let me get this one. I'm trying uh, a different angle of cooking, so I don't know if y'all can see me or not. Okay, y'all, so this I add into my potato salad. This is nothing but the egg yolk, mustard, and mayonnaise. With uh, a little bit of salt, go for. Okay, y'all. Then I take more mayonnaise. If y'all sensitive, don't watch, I use my hands. I like to feel my mix to make sure I, if I got enough dryness, wetness. I'm a messy cook, but I clean up right after myself. Hold on, let me wash my hands. I mean, look, I look at it this way. It's my kitchen. It's my cooking. We're going to eat it. I always add more because if it don't feel right to me, I add, add. So, 
y'all. Thank God I always got mayonnaise in the house because I'd be lost without my mayonnaise. So anyway, y'all, my pond meat is made out of lemon broil cut into quarter inch thick strips. And this bottle's bye bye. Might put a little bit of more mustard. And we're going to mix some more. So if y'all sensitive, my hands are clean. This is me and my husband's dinner. I'm not giving it to nobody else. If it was, it would be family and they all know how mama cooks. Okay, y'all. So, this is a potato salad. That's how my potato salad looks. We'll add a little more seasonings to it. Randy likes it hot because the potatoes literally just come out of the uh, pot. I cut them up. It's rusted potatoes. I got the celery in it. I got um, onions in it. That's some potato salad. Okay, let me wipe my stove because I can't stand my stuff. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> so now we're going to concentrate. I'm going to put that there because I'll snap on that egg that's left. So now we're going to finish up this meat. Let them roll cut into quarter inch strips that Rhonda is letting cook to the Hope y'all all doing good. Thank God we missed the, uh, what was it, Marco? But it looks like, uh, my family and friends in for, um, Houston, y'all need to get out of there. Y'all need to get out of there because they say in Laura's going to uh, hit at a cat three. Uh, please get out of harm's way, y'all. We all know what uh, how a hurricane could take everything away from you and completely change it. So, okay. This is uh, PJ's favorite dinner. My son in North, well, in South Carolina. Um, for y'all that don't know, he is a manager at Walk Ons in Myrtle Beach. He uh, moved him and his wife and my little grandbabies up there. Oh. Um, probably close to a year ago, I guess. Uh, they just had a brand new house built for them. But anyway, whenever I cook something like this, um, that was on my mind constantly. Uh, it was too cute. Yesterday, um, I cooked shrimp, okay, fried shrimp. Uh, butter beans and I was FaceTiming my son PJ and my little grandson Sawyer who I call him. Um, and I said, Link, look what Mama's cooking. And he looks 
I showed him the butter beans and he's like, mmm, yeah. And then I showed him the shrimp. <laughs> he was like, oh, yum. And I was like, don't worry, Bubba. When Mama comes up there, I'm going to bring some shrimp. I'm going to come cook for you. He's my son, PJ, inside of Oh, yeah. Definitely. So. Well, y'all, I ain't going to bore you much more. This is the pine egg meat. You can't even see. See how thin it is? That was some of That is, see in there? It's London Brawl. I cut it. Well, it's got batter on it, but I cut it about a quarter inch thick. I take it, a hot skillet, iron skillet. I like cooking an iron skillet. Um, I put about a quarter inch of oil in it. I let my meat marinate overnight in an egg wash. I use Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Um, I take it out of the egg wash, I put it in the breadcrumbs, put it in the hot pan, let them fry to a golden brown crispy. Um, so that's gonna be that. I got the potato salad made. And I think that's gonna be it, y'all. All I gotta do is throw some corn on with uh, butter and I put a uh, bell pepper in my corn and corn, I let it cook for about 30 minutes. Um, and that's, that will be what's on the table tonight for well, today, when it comes home. Between 12 and one, usually he gets off. Um, but anyway, from my table to yours, Hugs, love, and blessings. May you walk with Christ. Get into your Bible today. Read a scripture or two. Share love. We're in a Facebook world. Get in there and share scripture. Share, share, share. Plant them seeds and watch them grow. I swear, y'all, every little seed that, that's planted is bringing a soul to Christ. Let's bring them souls. I love you all, and I'll catch you on the next cooking show. Love y'all. Mm.